Just look at this. Look at it. I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I'm at the Harriet Hollister Spencer State Park in Western New York. I'm going to be testing out the N9 SAB 40 meter off center fed dipole. I want to see how multi banded this antenna really is. All right, here's a quick look at the uh, antenna. It's uh, super light. Um, He's got a nice 3D printed cover on the uh, BNC connector. It's rated for 50 watts SSB, and it comes in a real small pouch. I'll show you how it packs up. Boom, through the magic of uh, television. There it is, all packed up, small, lightweight pouch, super compact and portable, great for parks on the air, summits on the air. And uh, just to be clear too, I'm not an affiliate or anything. Uh, this antenna and all the other equipment I'm using, I've uh, purchased on my own. All right, let's uh, take a look at the setup. We got the N9 SAB off-center fed dipole. It's probably about 25 to 30 feet up on the MFJ 33 foot mast. The longer leg of the uh, antenna is going off to the south. It's tied down over there. And then running to the north is the uh, shorter leg of the uh, dipole there. And let's see, we are using about 33 feet of RG174. That's coming down the mast and going into the car. And we got the ICOM 7300. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a quick look at the SWR on 40 meters. And as you can see, it's completely flat. Um, and you'll notice I don't have the tuner on or anything. Let's check uh, the other bands. Okay, here's a quick look at uh, 20 meters. And again, completely flat. All right, let's check out uh, 10 meters. And you can see how low it is uh, there. Uh, still well below like 1.3 um, for a good portion of the uh, tech. Uh, section of the band. All right, let's take a look at the uh, six meter band with this. That looks flat. All right, let's uh, give uh, 10 meter FT8 a shot real quick and see how that goes. We're running 20 watts. All right. Low SWR, no ALC. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we're doing some 10 meter FT8. I tried calling CQ, I wasn't having much luck, so I decided to uh, hunt one of the uh, volunteers on the air uh, station that I saw. And it uh, looks like uh, we just completed the QSO there. Again, uh, 10 meter FT8, so far so good. Haven't noticed any issues with RFI. Uh, we'll try it out a little bit more and see how it goes. All right, we are on 12 meters now, but what I'm gonna actually do is put the radio into emergency mode and what that's going to do is give the uh, tuner enhanced capabilities so it'll have a uh, greater range than the typical three to one but to protect the radio and keep voltage and uh, currents off the components it's going to limit the max power out to uh, 50 watts uh, let's hit tune let's stop right there for a minute and i'll show you why we need the emergency tuner Here's a quick look at the antenna SWR on the Nano VNA. The first dip is right near the 40 meter band. As we work up to the 30 meter band, the SWR is above 3 to 1. But it bottoms out as we reach the 20 meter band. We're back up above 3 to 1 as we move up to 17 meters and 15 meters. And it looks like 12 meters is right around 3 to 1. As expected, there's another good dip for the 10 meter band. And lastly, there's another dip for the 6 meter band. Now let's see what the radio thinks. On 40 meters, it tunes up right away. 
You can see the tuner is on now in the upper left of the display. Let's try 30 meters now. No luck. The radio won't tune it with the internal 3 to 1 tuner. As expected, 20 meters tunes up with no problem. We'll give 17 meters a shot now, and the internal tuner doesn't like it either. It won't tune up on 15 meters. And it's the same for 12 meters. The internal 3 to 1 tuner can't handle it. On 10 meters, it tunes up easily. And lastly, on 6 meters, it tunes up fine as well. Now back to where we left off. Let's hit tune. And able to tune it up on 12. Let's try some more FT8. All right, just made a uh, contact on a 12 meter FT8 with a station in Greece, uh, running just uh, 20 watts again, uh, but in emergency mode so we can have the enhanced tuner. All right, gave uh, 15 meters a shot real quick on FT8. Got a contact in Germany again, uh, 20 watts using uh, the emergency tuner just to make sure everything's tuned up. All right, just got uh, another FT8 contact. We're on uh, 17 meters this time. All right, so we are on 30 meters now. And do the emergency tuner. Looks like it found a match. Let's see how it goes. There we go. First one in the log on 30 meters. All right, so we are on 60 meters, and let's see if we can tune this thing up. I'm on uh, 60 meters, uh, channel four. All right, sounds good. Let's uh, check the SWR. Let's see what we got. Looks good. Let's see if we make a contact on voice. I don't know why, so just checking out 60 meters, uh, channel three, it looks like there's actually a net going on, the moose and squirrel net. Let's see if we can uh, get on there and make a contact. Everybody else seems to be doing really well. So uh, maybe there's some validation. The net looks like it's coming to an end. I'm gonna see if I can uh, hop on real quick. Okay, well that brings us to the round at two, the end of round two and potentially the end of today's net. I'm gonna stand by and see if there's any last minute check in. All right, let's see if we can uh, do this. If so, 50 watts. call now. November two, Mike Alpha Kilo. November two, Mike Alpha Kilo. Okay, I've got November two, Mike yes. Alpha Kilo. Uh, handle here is Dean, dog, he's the alpha man. We're located in Milton, just north of Burlington, Vermont. And I wonder where you're located in the handle. So uh, I'll pass it over to you for your comments. W, uh, N2, Mike Alpha Kilo. This is KK1K and the Moose and Squirrel Net. KK1K, November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. Name here is Mike. I am operating portable right now. Actually doing some parks on the air. I'm at Harriet Hollister Spencer State Park which is in the Finger Lakes of New York, uh, just off of Honeyoy Lake. I am testing out an off-center fed dipole. It's an N9 SAB off-center de fed dipole for 40 meters, but I am running just 50 watts and using the emergency tuner on the ICOM 7300. I wanted to test it out and see if I could maybe uh, get this thing to tune up on 60 meters, and it sounds like it's working out pretty good. I'll uh, send it back to you and see if I could get a signal report. Okay, uh, November 
two, Mike Alpha Kilo. Mike in the Finger Lakes uh, area in New York. This is Kilo, Kilo, one Kilo. Well, Mike, you were good and strong when you came in, but you faded substantially uh, toward the end. So I, I assume that you had turned it back to net control. Uh, your dipole and uh, your 40 meter dipole and 50 watts are doing a good job, but uh, propagation is, is the enemy today. So uh, thanks for checking in and enjoy your stay and your experimentation there with your setup out in uh, the Finger Lakes region of New York. Uh, so let me stand by and see if there are any additional stations, otherwise we'll wrap things up for the day. Additional uh, check-ins, please call now. All right, cool. We got it to uh, tune up on uh, 60 meters, and of all things, there was actually a net going on, <laughs> and I was able to sneak in at the end there. So, uh, hey, I'll, I'll take that. that. That's good to know. It's always fun to, to, you know, mess around and find out. All right, we're giving a 6-meter FTA to shot, but I'm not hearing anything, so I don't know that we're going to get any contacts here. All right, I'm going to give a 6-meter SSB uh, a quick shot here. Let me make sure we're running 50 watts. Not hearing anything, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Is the frequency in use? November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo is the frequency in use. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo, N2, MAK calling CQ on six meters. Standing by for any stations anywhere. Two is Kilo Bravo 2, Italy, America, uniform. Wasn't expecting that. Kilo Bravo 2, Italy, America, uniform. QSL, Chris? Uh, Roger that. Hey, I got you about a 5-5. Uh, five five. I'm at Harriet Hollister Spencer State Park, just uh, south of uh, Hanoi Lake, uh, probably about 2,000 plus feet up, and I'm using a 40-meter off-center fed dipole with 50 watts. QSL? Oh, wow. Um, the 40-meter dipole is doing very well. Yeah, I'm using here a, a Yaesu FT817 running into an LD MOSFET amplifier that's using uh, two MRX 300s for six meters. And uh, uh, nearly 500 watts is going into a six meter quarter wave ground plane at about 40 feet QSL. QSL, QSL, yeah, I'm using the ICOM 7300 and you are a solid 5.9 here. Great signal, QSL. With a view like this, I, you got to call out on two meters. Let me give it a shot. Is the frequency in use? November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. Yes, it is now. K1VHZ. Jack, K1VHZ, thanks for the uh, contact on uh, two meters. I'm probably about 1,800 feet up here at uh, Harriet Hollister Spencer State Park looking out over Honeyoy Lake, QSL. QSL, I know that spot well. Although I've never poted there, but I have been there. And I checked the map and it looks like it's about a 30 mile shot. And uh, you're full quieting, so uh, it's working great. That was awesome. We use the ICOM 7300 and the N9 SAB off-center fed dipole to make contacts on seven different bands. We did FT8 on 10 meters, 12 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, and 30 meters. Worked great, made, made contacts easily on FT8, and then uh, was really surprised when uh, I got it to tune up on 60 meters and there happened to be a net going on on channel three. Uh, was able to catch the tail end and sneak in and uh, so made a voice contact at 50 watts on 60 meters using the emergency tuner and then did the same on 6 meters. I tried FT8, didn't work out, but uh, just called out for the fun of it on uh, 50.125 and what do you know, 
uh, made a contact. Yes, it was a local one, but uh, at least somebody happened to be listening. That's awesome. And uh, good to get contacts on those bands. Those actually helped me get 10 different bands. So this is my 10th park with 10 or more bands. Uh, so using the N9 SAB, I earned my Parks on the Air uh, N1CC award. Um, that's for activators or hunters that get 10 parks on 10 different bands. And uh, so I already had contacts here on 20 and 40 uh, plus two meters, but um, that's awesome. So uh, thank you, Tim. It's an awesome antenna. I look forward to using it many more times. I already know it works great on uh, 20, 40, and 10. I did an activation here uh, on one, running just one watt SSB and uh, got 18 contacts in the log with one watt SSB um, using the antenna on 40, 20, and 10. So this is awesome. This is gonna be a great multi-banded antenna for portable use. Gonna use it for plenty more parks on the air and some summits on the air. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, click like, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you got a comment or a question, uh, leave it down below. I'll do my best to respond. I'm Mike, N2MAK73.